recreate one of my games Dev Noob style. Hello, beautiful people. Let's make a game. Ow! Captain Cloudy? You got any holiday theme game planned? Looks like I'm recreating a One Creeper game into a Dev Noob holiday themed game. No, no, no. Give me something good. Operation.zip? Interesting. Operation Encirclement. A game where you stand and shoot. And you can walk through other players and annoy them. Perfect game. I take it. Wait, what? Other players? It's a multiplayer game? Last time I tried that, it was a mess. Let's do it again. And so I started following Rockbuck's tutorial, who, for the second time, has to explain Photon to me. But here we go. For the first time in my life, I connected to myself. Take that, psychiatrists. Eventually, we have two players in the same map. I'm proud of it. I left the tutorial and started creating my own world map, which is very white. Now, a prototype needs some prototype enemies. And so I created Porcube. And of course, Porcube comes with a poor script. A nice blue color and it's ready to be a victim of Death Noob. Creeper's game had an area you shoot from. So I made the same, threw some barriers around it and we have a prototype. That's not supposed to happen. And now I can't get it back up. But fair enough. Let's invite one creeper to see what he thinks of the prototype. Wanna see what I have so far? Okay, yeah. My cat just attacked my face. Now my hand is with blood. It makes me feel good. Instead of shooting enemies, he started drawing. And more, and more. Even a face on me. Prototype successful. Now, the story behind the game is that you have to protect a bunker, which is filled with Christmas gifts for the kids. But the anti-Christmas monsters want to come and destroy the bunker. So let's model a bunker. I'm very happy with this. Now, after finding some textures, we have a bunker to protect. Now, I don't have so much money in real life, so I really like it when I can buy stuff in a game. And so I started modeling the most basic store you've ever seen, but I'm throwing a Christmas tree on it. Okay, let's try that again. Nope. So yeah, I just followed a tutorial. And so this has become a proper Christmas tree. But what is it missing? Christmas balls. So I'm putting my balls all over the tree. Balls. I then took the part without balls and jerked them all over the map. Perfect. Now we need a store owner, who will be no one other than Marcus. So I started taking... <coughs> what? What? You don't know who Marcus is? Who was in my arcade game, the Google Maps FPS, Palumber, Sony Manager, the GoldenEye Remake, the Marcus Game Show, Stardew Valley Dog Game, Pizza Park Room, Minecraft Space, Crazy Taxi Hitman, Babushka Battle, Brex Game Jam, GameStop, Cyberpunk Mario Kart, Sims and Zombies. Marcus. So I took him from another game, gave him this beautiful Christmas hat, and now Marcus is the proud store owner, waving like a retard. Gun time. It's something to cut electrical wires with, don't worry. But a wire cutter won't cut it for my game. And so we have a Colt 1872. What a beauty. But I also want something like this. So I started modeling an M1 Garand, whatever that may be. But hey, it shoots, so I'm happy. We need automatic weapons to win the war. And now we have an M16. This will be perfect for one creeper's drawing skills. I like explosions. 
What can I say? I'm a simple noob. And so, this basically long tube is a bazooka. Exploding Christmas gifts! Ugh! And finally, a minigun! Holy f Christmas, yeah! Say hello to my little gun! A little lesson for you guys. To make games feel nicer to play, they add something called game feel. Flashing lights, shaking screens, explosions, sound effects, you name it. It all makes the game feel nicer to play. So I added some camera shake. Holy shit, that's a lot of shaking. But here we go. You wanna shake my bazooka? Finally time for a bad ass Santa. I started a modeling journey, added these sick muscles and amazing abs. It's almost like I'm modeling my own body. This hat needs a hat, of course. Hmm, now where can I get a Christmas hat? Marcus has one, of course. So after taking <laughs> What? You don't know who Marcus is? Haha, <laughs> tricked ya. Not doing that whole crap again. Thank god. A pretty hat for a pretty Santa. And after adding stuff like a moustache. And the holy beard, we have a real Santa Claus. Whoa, look at him go. Remember, poor cube. Goodbye. It's time for some real enemies. Yay, the first one. And put your hands up for... Yeah, made by one creeper. And there we go, he's in the game. Zombie Putin, made at the Zombie Manager game. Talking about the Zombie Manager game, here's another one, a wheelchair zombie. Don't even ask. Now, why didn't I make new enemies? I wanna have this video out before Christmas and it's December 24. Great planning. But that's it, we have a game. Play it for free on itch.io or download the entire project on GitHub. Now, subscribe, like, and tell me what to make next. Let's play the game. Of course, we have one creeper who goes under the name of Sika Biat. And also joining us is Adev who goes under the name of... Yeah, he wrote a book as a nickname. First, I straight up bought some ammo. I then tried reading the book, but a death is too quick. After shooting some enemies, I bought the M16. And started leading the game. And that's pretty much the game. In the end, I won with 23 kills, Adef at 2nd place with 20 and One Creeper 3rd with 12 kills.